As a New Jersey-based Milky Way photographer, I often find myself traveling to distant locations in a hunt for darker night skies. However, there is a location that's not too far from me which I always recommend for those that can't get out west and don't want to drive more than a few hours away from home if they live in or around New Jersey. This location is Assateague Island State Park in Maryland, which is known for its free-roaming feral horses. This stretch of land continues down to the Virginia border, which turns into Shinkoteague National Wildlife Refuge. If you have an OSV, which stands for Over Sand Vehicle, you can obtain permits to drive deeper into Assateague Island, which will allow you to get even further away from the light pollution. Unfortunately, I don't have an OSV, however, I'm extremely satisfied with the visibility of the Milky Way I can capture when camping near the paved parking areas. In fact, I love it there so much, I try to go at least once every year. The great thing about Assateague is that they allow you to camp on the beach, which comes in real handy when photographing the Milky Way. The compositions in Assateague are minimal, so having a tent is a great way to make the photo more interesting. However, that could also get redundant, so it forced me to think of ways to keep innovating my tent compositions. You can also find boardwalks to use in your composition near the Oceanside Drive-In Campground and other various locations in the park. Wood fencing stretches along the beach area as well, which can be used in various ways to make another unique composition. I also recommend using Google Maps and Satellite View to help you scout out locations before heading there. I haven't explored the bay side of Assateague Island as much, but I do like the composition of the Naturalist Shack at the end of Ferry Landing Road. The marsh is also great for still water reflections if it isn't too windy, so definitely explore those areas as possible shooting locations. If you have a star tracker, then I highly recommend bringing it to Assateague since you will have nice open areas to track the night sky. There is an entrance fee to get into the park and additional fees for camping or driving an OSV. For all that pricing information, I will leave a link down below. Assateague State Park gets extremely crowded during peak season, so I typically go there from March to May. This is when the Milky Way is lower in the sky, rising from east to southeast. As it drifts more south to southwest, you'll start to reintroduce some light pollution depending where you are on the island. Overall, this is a great place to get away from the city lights of New York, Philadelphia, and Washington DC and camp under some amazing dark skies. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to feed the algorithm. So now you know, before you go, take care everyone.